Yo, Kipis Guy here. What's going on, on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm bringing you the highly anticipated review of the OSD Audio Neuro XA5180 5 channel amplifier. Now, you guys have been yelling and yelling at me when is that review coming out? Well, today is that day. I had to wait on getting my processor in before I could make a video, but now that I've had time to set this up correctly, I've had time to assess this correctly as well. So I'm not gonna do a big overview on what this is. I've done an unboxing video already on the channel of the Nero XA5180. So if you wanna know details and such about this, check that video out first, but this is gonna be what I think about it. But real quickly, I will kinda introduce what this is. This is a five channel amplifier, giving me about 125 watts at uh, eight ohms with all five channels powered. Now, depending on how many speakers you'll have set up to this thing, you can get a lot more juice out of this. Now, primarily, this is gonna be like an Atmos amplifier for me, powering four of my Atmos speakers. But for testing purposes, I also used it as my front left, right, and center stage amplifier, so my front three speakers. So I have a really good idea of what this thing can do and how it sounds, and we'll just get right into it. This amplifier is absolutely incredible. From the sound quality, to the build quality, to the power, I am very impressed with this amplifier, and the price tag is not bad whatsoever. Now, you probably see a few marks and fingerprints on this. This front, this front panel is like a brushed aluminum kind of feel to it, and it holds on to fingerprints really strongly. I've tried to buff them out and I've got some of them out, but they are tough to clean up. So avoid touching the front panel too much if you don't have to um, when you're setting it up. Now, for reference, I'm using the AVM70 from Anthem, their new preprocessor, and I have them hooked up together with XLR cables. So they're balanced inputs and outputs. So I'm getting the best that I can possibly get out of this amplifier. And then my speakers of choice are the Canton Ventos, the A96.2 uh, tower speakers, the uh, center channel, and then the matching bookshelves and Atmos AR800 speakers. So I have a pretty good cohesive idea of what this thing can do. And it, and it has powered my speakers well. My speakers are super power hungry and they're not the most efficient. Um, they are the Canton Ventos, like I said, A96.2. So they have, uh, they can range between four ohms to eight ohms, depending on how loud I'm playing or what material that I'm playing. Um, and then all speakers are pretty heavy on the, the power side. They really want a lot of juice. So I really wanted to test this out and see what I could do to it. And it handled every task that I ask of it, not just for movies, but for music as well. Sounds absolutely incredible. Keeps up well with the model price seven that I have. That's a seven times 200 amplifier. Um, it keeps up very well with it. I don't feel like there's a lot of difference as far as the juice goes between the two. Now, obviously 200 more watts or 200 watts is a lot more than 125, but the sound does not seem like it's suffering. I'm not missing those 75 watts. So that's very nice to see. Again, this is gonna be more primarily my Atmos sound system, my Atmos amplifier. So I'll talk about that first. They're powering two SVS Prime Elevations as my front Atmos, and then they're powering two Canton AR800 as my rear Atmos. And those are two different types of speakers with two different handling, uh, power handling and, and ohm impedances. And this thing does not have any struggle whatsoever. Um, Atmos is a lot louder than what it used to be. Um, it's, its presence is there. I don't feel like I'm missing something. The power is there, the sound quality is there. I um, mean, it's really amped up the sound level of my home theater. Atmos for me has been a really hard struggle to get correct because I find myself cranking up the Atmos channels to make it match with the rest of the sound system. But this allowed me to back those channels down a little bit and use them at the same level as the rest of my system, even though they're farther above my head. So this has restored a lot of volume in my sound system that I was missing. Um, so this is a really, really good amplifier for Atmos. If you're looking for a dedicated Atmos amplifier, this is amazing for it. Now, again, this is a five channel amplifier, but they are building, I think this summer, they're gonna be making a three channel amplifier or they're releasing one and they're releasing a seven channel amplifier and they're built off the same power supply. So you're gonna get the same kind of watts. You're, they're just gonna add pretty much two more amps in this for the seven channel and take away two amps for the three channel. And I'm super excited to see that because you can really build a solid, solid system off the Nero X85, or excuse me, 80, uh, 5180. It's a really solid, well-built. I need you guys to go back and watch the overview video if you haven't. The build quality on this amplifier is, is state of the art. For the money you're paying, you're getting so much out of this. So the front screen here, there are LEDs. There's five LEDs on here. They are illuminated blue right now. That means that the amplifier is on and ready to go. Now you have different um, input switches you can, you can use. So I have mine to be um, turned on by a trigger, a 12 volt trigger. So when my AVM amplifier turns off, 
so does the rest of the sound system. When my AVM amplifier turns on, so does the rest of the sound system. It's much, much nicer that way. Everything comes on and off at the same time. But if you don't have 12 volt outputs or you don't want to use them, you do have the ability to do two other ways. You can just manually turn it on or off if you want to with the front button on the front side or you can have it detect a signal via your RCA cables or your XLR balance inputs. When it detects that there's a signal coming from your processor, it'll fire on the amplifier. Now, I suggest going 12 volt trigger because if you're using the sensing, it may take a second for it to, to detect that sensing when a movie starts or music starts. So for the first five or 10 seconds, you get no sound until it fires up and then starts playing your sound. But with the 12 volt trigger, it turns on automatically and turns off automatically. So there's no standby time. There's no waiting for boot up. There's no waiting for boot off. Everything fires up at the same time. So that's my suggestion. Now let's say you're using this amplifier for your, your main speakers, your front stage, or maybe you're running all five speakers. I think it's perfect for that. It gives enough juice to power just about any speaker out there, and it's rated down to six ohms and four ohms as well. So if you have really heavy duty, high demanding, or low efficient speakers, this will have no problem powering those. Again, my Ventos, all of my Ventos are power hungry. They're not the most efficient, so they love the juice. And this has not given me any problems with powering. I haven't heard any distortion. I haven't heard any sense of straining, any of that. And the sound quality that comes from this is very, very good. Now, of course, it's helped by the AVM70. What you put in is what you get out. But nonetheless, a standalone amplifier like this sounds really good. The build quality has me rest assured that it's gonna last me for years and years and years. And then again, um, Nero X is being upgraded to a seven channel option and a three channel option if you wanna um, take this to another level. So I am absolutely happy to have this in the sound system. Com uh, compatible with the monolith, the uh, the seven times 200 amplifier that I'm using. That's my main boy. It has all the power, all the juice. It gives me some crazy numbers when I want it to. Um, so that's gonna power my seven speakers on the floor. And then my channels here are powered by, uh, or are being used for the Atmos. So it's a great, it's, it's just so nice. <laughs> I really appreciate um, OSD Audio for sending this out to me for review. Um, I hope to work with you guys more in the future. Um, do you guys have some really good products that I don't think a lot of people are aware of too much. Um, so I hope to bring some more you know, faces to the OSD Audio sound. Um, but with that being said, guys, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the OSD Audio Neuro XA5180, as well as tell me what amplifiers are you using in your system if you're using separates? What is your amplifier of choice? Leave me that comment down below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you guys in the next video. K-Face guy out.